what's up youtube welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is tashiana if you're not new here welcome back to my youtube channel i'm glad that you're back and today i'm going to be telling you guys a story time on how i had a racist rude ignorant ass client <laughs> but before we get started i do want to just say thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers i really really do appreciate you guys i just really love how y'all are showing so much support to me i thought about just giving you guys another story time since you guys like my story times so yeah make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up let's just get started on the story time. so if you're not new here you guys know that i have been going to cosmetology school at a bit about a year now this situation actually happened at the beginning of 2021 i'm very positive about the new year i said good intentions for this year so i was in a good mood it was the first week of after new year's at aveda i was new on the floor this was my second month being on the floor and working on actual people instead of working on my mannequin head for over two months they had us working on our mannequin heads taking a lot of tests and just doing a bunch of bunch of activity and i was still nervous still trying to get used to get on the floor and used to just speak to people been dealing with anxiety since i was a little kid when i wake up i will always feel anxious getting up so every time i will wake up i will always feel really nervous about the day but this day was very very weird because i did not feel that way at all and i'm thinking in my head like maybe my anxiety is it's not affecting me as much but then again i was thinking in my head like maybe i'm thinking more positive i got up brushed my teeth got ready for school waited by the door because me and my sister we ride to school together we head to school at the beginning of 2021 they had a person no person a person no person at every station so i was cleaning my station my sister had came up to me and was like well, we both got a slurry touch after lunch and i was like okay that's cool and you know i was feeling very confident because i remember i had did a color retouch on this girl hair and i gave her a nice ass blowout like when i tell you guys people was giving her compliments people were saying like you did a good job on her hair y'all it really gave me that confidence so, so I, I have time so what i did was you know i just worked on my mannequin head so after lunch I went back to my station and me and my sister stations were right next to each other. So me and her, we getting ready for a client. We got our trays together, our brushes, our tools together, just trying to get everything prepared, wipe down the seats, you know, make sure everything is clean. I'm waiting for my client. People that work up there, they came up to me and was like, hey, Tashiana, we just want to let you know that your client is here. I said, okay. You know, I'm feeling like, okay, I can do this. I can do this, you know? I walked over there. I was trying to do my like, read in and out before I, you know, approach her because I don't want to mess up. I don't know why. I just always get so nervous to talk to people. I walked up to her. I was like, hey, how's it going? And when I said that, you guys, like, she looked at me like, I was like, are you such a such? She looked at me like, and mind you guys, she was a white lady. I was so confused on why she was making that face, but you know, I continued to talk. I said, my name is Tashiana and I'm going to be doing your color retouch today. So you can just follow me and we can go to my station. First thing she said was like, do you know how to do white people's hair? But when she first said that, you guys, it kind of took me back. So I'm thinking to myself like, how was I supposed to say, like, how was I supposed to respond to that? Yes, I know how to do other hair texture and she was like are you sure about that i just don't want my hair to fall off i was like your hair is not gonna fall off and she was like okay so that's when she had got up and that's when i was like okay let's just go to my station like she already had like a stink attitude so you know i'm just trying to like brush it off but really y'all it really got to me i'm such a sensitive ass person the first sentence she had said really like stung me i was just like well damn i'm walking towards my station and then i pulled out the chair so she can sit and i was trying to tell her that she could put her her belongings under the station because there are hooks where she could put her purse at and my station was right here and then she was all the way over there like y'all she did not want to be near me at all had her purse to her chest like this holding it real tight 
and I'm thinking to myself like do she think I'm trying to steal something from her like you can sit down and that's when she had sat down but she had walked all the way around like what is her problem you know i'm trying like y'all i am such a cry baby like i'm trying to not cry like i'm trying not to get pissed off because i get mad and i get upset really really fast so i'm over here like you know putting my head down just trying to pretend i'm writing something down because y'all i was i was this close this close so when she sat down in my chair she, the first thing she said was i have psoriasis and i'm just like just telling her like i'm just going to talk to my instructors about that so you're here for a color retouch and she was like yeah i just want to cover my grades i'm just a little worried and i said so what you worried about i just don't want my hair to fall off for you flying on my hair and i said well normally here we do blowouts we don't normally fly on your hair but if you do want me to fly on your hair that is going to be an extra ten dollars and she started asking questions about my hair and stuff and she was like well this is your real hair i said no this is a wig this is a wig i wear wigs and so what she was just like you know what I'm sorry, I don't want to be rude or anything, but I do not feel comfortable you doing my hair. I want someone that has my hair type to do my hair. And she was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you and stuff like that. Yo, I just took a deep breath. Like, okay, I'm about to go get my instructor. And she was like, okay. So I had went to my instructors and it was like, what's up girl, how's it going? And I said, well, my client does not want me to do her hair because I am black. And they was like, what? That can't be true. I said, I'm serious. The instructors had wanted to go talk to the lady. This other instructor was trying to ask me if I was okay. Like, you know, when someone asks you if you're okay, knowing damn well you're not okay, but you're trying to like stop the tears from coming down and then the tears start falling down as soon as someone asks you if you're okay. That's exactly what happened. So mind you, my sister saw everything and she ran over there and she knew I was, I was crying. So as I'm trying to make a run for it, the instructor that had asked me if I was okay is following me. Then my sister is following me and they're trying to ask me what happened. Just, and it's like, I really could not get the words out because I was just so crushed. Like y'all, my feelings was fucking hurt. Like I never, ever experienced that in my life. I always see that on the internet and I always see that in movies, you know, TV shows, all that. And when it really happens to you, it's for real. Like people are still like this in 2021. And it's so sad that people are ignorant. People are still racist. And the thing is, I felt like she wanted me to react. Like she wanted me to make a scene because I feel like that's how she feel about us black women. She feel like we are ghetto, we are loud. You know, we wear weave and stuff because we bald headed. No, that's not it, we're not bald headed. We're not ghetto, you know? She wanted me to go off on her and I didn't. I felt like I am so mature now because if that situation happened when I was 16 or 17 or even 18, I would have went the fuck off. But I knew that if I would have went off, she would have won. She would have proved her point. At the same time, y'all, I was just thinking in my head, like, I should have said something. You know, I should have stood up for myself. I was so angry at myself. Now, that I'm looking back at the situation, I feel like I did okay. So, you know, I am walking really, really fast into the break room. And I sat down in the chair. A instructor had came up to me and was like, are you okay? Do you need any water? You know when you try to hold so much tears back and you can't breathe? That's exactly what was happening. So I really could not breathe at all. Like, I couldn't breathe. I'm over here trying to explain myself, but the words is not coming out. I just asked my sister and the instructor, can I just get like two minutes to myself so I can like really cry and then I can tell you guys what happened and they were just like okay a couple minutes went by you know I'm still crying uh, I'm still mad but I feel like I can tell them what exactly happened I'm telling her what happened and we're just like that is not right she should never have said that they were just saying we are glad that you did not go off on her you was respectful you was very professional and we just commend you for that you know what they are right i didn't disrespect her i just stayed professional but the girl that had talked to her she had came in the break room was like she had went home because the girl couldn't get her hair done anyway because the girl has psoriasis i was just like okay 
Yeah, that girl thought she was getting her hair done over here, but she couldn't anyway because she that girl had psoriasis and she couldn't get her hair done. So we had sent her out. After they had talked to me, they said you can stay back here until you're ready to go back on the floor. And I said, okay. So I got back on the floor. I was like, hopefully I don't have another client. I just really want to just stay to myself. I just really felt embarrassed because not only she had said that to me, but everyone seen everything. Everyone was looking at me and her. And I looked on the computer and they said I had a haircut. I did not want to do this haircut. And I'm like, why would they give me a client when that situation just happened? So I was just like, you know what? I'm about to leave. So I had packed all my stuff. Even though I couldn't leave because I rode with my sister and my sister was still, she had a client and she wasn't leaving till 515. So I had to go in the break room and wait until she was finished. 515 hit. I knew like when I get inside the car, I wanted to listen to music. Now, on the other hand, my sister was trying to talk about the situation again. I knew it really upset her, but I was really, really trying to forget about the situation. I really didn't want to talk about it. And I just told her, like, you know, I don't really want to talk about it. And she was like, okay. So I put my headphones in and I listened to music the whole way back to the house. She dropped me off and like the whole situation, like it was still bothering me. I went straight upstairs. I worked out for a whole hour. I feel like when I work out, it's like a huge stress relief. I had went downstairs to get some water after I got out the shower. And my mom was like, are you okay? I heard what happened. I wanted to tell my mom and other people when I'm ready. But my sister already told everyone. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. That kind of made me mad. I feel like it was not your business to tell, but I know she was coming from a good place because I know she was really upset. I know my sister, she really wanted to go off on a girl. So, you know, I just brushed it off. I was thinking about quitting hair school. I let her affect me for almost quitting cosmetology school. I remember my mom, she was like, there's going to be a lot of different people that's going to be just like the person you dealt with. So don't let it get to you. And if you do, you're going to let that person win. And you're gonna prove to her you don't know what you're doing you don't know how to do hair next day i had woke up and i was still upset about the situation and to be honest i really did not want to go to school and the thing is y'all it was the beginning of the week and i still have three more days left it's not like it was a thursday so like this is about to be the longest week ever so i got dressed we drove to school and I had checked my books and it said that I had a full highlight. When I saw that, you guys, like, I was so upset. My sister was trying to comfort me. I was scared. I was nervous. That girl, she really discouraged me. And she really made me thought, like, I couldn't do hair. And I didn't know what I was doing. But I just felt like giving up. I had my head down and I was just feeling really upset. The instructor had came up to me and was like, oh, what's wrong? She didn't even know the situation. So I told her everything. And she said, you know what? You're not doing that full highlight. You're just going to work on your thinking head today. And when she did that, I really did appreciate her so much. I just needed a day to myself. I remember I was trying to pretend like that situation didn't happen yesterday, even though it was still bothering me the next day. Girls was coming up to me that I didn't even know. Like, are you okay? We felt so bad for you. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, everyone was talking about it. Like, I was like the whole topic. They were just like, I don't even know what I would do if I was in that situation. But you guys, I just really honestly feel like that situation like really, really helped me out because it made me have tougher skin. I would know like what to say or what to do. Like I would be prepared, you know, like it helped me grow. It helped me to stand up for myself and to believe in myself because I'm not even going to lie to you guys. In 2020, I was feeling very discouraged about doing hair and i felt like that situation had to happen for me to have faith in myself it was crazy y'all look at me now i'm about to graduate on september 28th you guys i didn't let that one person affect me from accomplishing my goal that i've been wanting to do ah. so that is it with this story time i hope you guys enjoyed it if you made it to the end which I do appreciate. Make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new here, if you like this story time, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because more story time and more videos are coming. Comment down below how y'all feel about this story time. 
Let me know what kind of story time y'all would like or videos y'all would like. I just want to say thank you again for 300 subscribers. I really, really do appreciate you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.